Mr. Speaker, following the Castro playbook, Evo Morales has taken systematic steps to curtail the basic rights of the people of Bolivia after a resounding no vote from the people. This thug turned to the courts, which he totally controls, to stomp on the will of the people. Just last month, his henchmen killed a young student from public university in the city of El Alto, where students peacefully were protesting, calling for additional resources for their college. Mr. Speaker, Evo Morales' anti-imperialist rhetoric, expelling all of our U.S. agencies, DEA, USAID, and the U.S. ambassador to Bolivia, and his coziness with rogue regimes, well, they're just further proof of the threat that his regime poses for the stability and security of our allies in the hemisphere and beyond. Using Bolivia's status as a non-permanent member at the United Nations Security Council, Morales has sided with Syria and its abysmal human rights record, undermined our ally, the Democratic State of Israel, and consistently attacked the United States and our efforts to uphold and promote the values of freedom of democracy in the region and around the world. Simply put, Morales is no friend of democratic values, and just like the dictatorships in Cuba, Venezuela, and Nicaragua, his regime has solidified control at the expense of the people and our own national security interests. The Bolivian people need our help, Mr. Speaker, and we must start paying attention to what is happening right here in our own hemisphere.